ought to be pretty interesting. That thing hasn't been on the road in probably, I don't know, at least 10 years. Another beautiful day in Havasu. You get this old truck fired up. We got some junk to tow today. Gonna go to Yuck help William tow a little dozer and then uh, I got a couple other trucks to pick up and move so see if this old girl will fire up oh, Jimmy, it's early <laughs> sun's not even up yet when was the last time you were up before the sun it's been a minute Go see if we can tow some junk. I think we lost the road here for a minute. truck number one loaded off to yucca to move a dozer and then uh, we'll move truck number two and load truck number three and maybe go jet skiing tonight what do you think Jimmy absolutely let's do it Okay, that's one unloaded here in the yard in Yucca. That's a pretty nice old truck. I'm glad we saved that from the junkyard. No, good job, Travis. Yeah, look how clean she is inside. She's got a dashboard laying here. Got factory air conditioning, good parts. I need all this trim. It's our next toy. Yeah, this loader. <laughs> Screaming Detroit in it. Yeah, we uh, so we used that loader to straighten this bed when we were building this truck. Did you really? Yeah, this, this bed was bent really bad. We laid it down and we drove that on. <laughs> That'll do it. Dirt. That'll do it. Yeah, we needed a heavy piece of equipment to straighten the bed, so that's what we used. Off to our next project. Well, we're here at Williams. Bye. stuff going on here look at this old truck one of these days i gotta get this running for him what do you say will ready to go load junk waiting on you waiting on me huh two days you've been waiting on me um we taking that sheet of plywood or are we leaving it here it's trash we're definitely gonna pull a pearl and look at this tire what Pull a Merlin. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is this is how I roll right here. So how long do you give this tire? Yeah, let me know in the comments there. Trent's it's got some broken belt, a little separation, but hey, we're not going very far, very fast. So we'll see if it makes it. Keep it for another ten thousand miles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ten thousand feet. I don't know, she's pretty cracked up. ranch I'm gonna move the truck over here to start loading this little dozer but uh, Brad he's been coming up here for years you guys recognize Brad from the record games and some of my videos 
time did you guys go to bed? About 3 a.m. It's trying to snow. It's freezing. It's freezing cold. How you fare in there, Brad? We're a little low on 35. <laughs> yeah, you got caught in the marble field back there. <laughs> but uh, he's been coming to this ranch for a long time, so I'm going to let him take the camera walk around and tell you a little bit about it. It was his buddy that uh, he used to cowboy with up here. So we'll I'll give you a little truck. tour. Yeah. Go for a little tour. So this place has been in the Cavalier family for generations. It's in Northwest Arizona, just outside of Yucca. And it's a rock pile. Used to run mainly any cows as you can see a lot of horn cattle still up here William, this little, thing has uh, a really sweet cushion in it there's no cushion in this thing keep your center of gravity low William yeah so as you can tell this place has been well used over the years like any place plenty of uh, plenty of fencing needs to be fixed Lot and Cavalier owned this place. Uh, he passed away a couple years ago. Really good friend of mine. Missed the guy a ton. But now it's run by his kids, Lottie being his son. These cows are all going to cow punchers. It's a cowboys rodeo event up in Williams here in the next couple weeks. This ranch goes from the, pretty much the top of those mountains. All the way down into the desert. Runs plus or minus 300 head of cattle. A little more when the weather's good and it's wet years. A lot of mavericks up here in this country. So big and rugged. Water trucks all over this place. A lot of mining in Arizona. And up on this mountain, there's a couple of mines, the Antler Mine and the Boreana Mine. In the Antler Mine, they just started working again. So the miners use some of this property as some of their staging area for some of their equipment while they're drilling up in these mountains here. There's houses and bunk houses living quarters all over this place. Yeah. But over the years, plenty has been collected. This old cattle truck. Came off a of Walnut Creek Ranch, ranch next door. It wasn't that long ago. This thing ran, was hauling cows and horses around. There's stuff all over this place. It's all Dodge. Pretty clean still. Need some glass and some interior. There's an old cooler. 
250. Everything needs interior around here. Again, pretty clean. It's got a tailgate. Not so clean on this side. Got half a motor. Let's go see what we're getting today. So Will made a deal on this dozer years ago. It's a cat tan. William thinks he's gonna drive this thing on right now. He is. He's oper he's the operator. William, how long ago did you make a deal on this? Well, I've wanted this thing for like 20 years. 20 years? Uh -huh. It's been 20 years. I know we probably 23. You and I come and looked at this thing 12 years ago. That was long. That was the first time I seen it. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna get this thing back to Yucca and see if we can get it to run. Hit the, le hit the left pedal. There you go. Dude, I, I think we get the engine running. This thing's gonna be a fun little yucca cruiser. <laughs> I honestly think we're gonna have some fun with this one. For sure. Go see what William's getting now. He's got more stuff. Stuff everywhere. Pump jack. We're gonna go into the dozer oil business. Dude, we got us a pump jack. And a cat tin. We need gonna... fuel for that dozer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need fuel for the dozer, so we're gonna drill a hole. We need us a drill rig. That's what we need. Next. Look at that cool logo. I got another one of these. It's in pretty rough shape. So between the two of them, they hang from the ceiling. And you pull your hose wheels down. So uh, Brad's got a little. Uh, story to okay, tell we'll here, here story quick. story time with brad here from the ranch we do pooch we're doing huh baby this old house used to be the original house now it's called the bunk house this patio here mom's grandma used to live in this place this little porch arizona room used to be i mean ceiling to floor filled with junk <laughs> glass bottles <laughs> tools you name it filled with it two in the morning one morning stud horse gets in here and just starts to break into everything apart left and right don't know what the heck's going on and you come out here and you find a stud horse in this little in this little thing with probably stomping holes in the floor i mean ceiling to floor with shelving bottles just destroyed this place that's so funny 
So how old do you think this building is? It's shake. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be early 1900s or late 1800s. Shake wanna, cedar. I believe this building. Lots of lot, but I believe this building came out of Oatman, and it used to be the Oatman Post Office. Really? Yeah. And it came down the road before it was even paved. When I-40 was still a dirt road and. I'll we'll have to confirm that with Lottie, but I'm pretty sure that's the story I know on, huh. this, on this particular building. Yeah, so and then, of course, it's been added on to and everything. Yeah, but yeah this porch obviously was yeah. added on. You can see the... Yeah, I think they brought it down on a... Cow dog. Cow dog. stuff up here. Factory short bed. Yeah, square body Chevy, short bed. Anyone? Not an ounce of rust in it. Arizona truck. Quite the, that's quite the forklift there, Will. Get her into here. <laughs> Will, Will's old equipment. I love it. Get our pump jack and load that little dozer off somewhere. to head to Kingman and get our next load. We got Jimmy bringing up the top kick. That's got to go to Kingman later today. Well, this is shift. Park is reverse. They don't have park. I know. Um, Put it in neutral. Uh, does the uh, does it does it shift? It does. It does everything it's supposed to. Nice. Yeah, this is our ignition. System. Perfect. I, I tried turning the emergency flashers off. I couldn't. Sorry. Right. We, we might need them, I guess. <laughs> we'll uh we'll go ahead and use them. For now we'll disconnect the battery. And then uh I don't know. We'll figure out. So you think it'll make it to Kingman? I don't know. <laughs> sure. Did it shift clear to uh drive? It did. Yeah, it did. It shifts. Shifts good. It's Allison transmission, the best part of it. Yeah. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, it's very shifts very nice. If yeah. you can get it to rev up, it shifts. Yeah, that's the the the, the yeah. way that thing. Works yeah, there's no the coast. Way, well, the governor, the way it, the the governor reaction. Yeah. It's it's a spring loaded deal. Like literally, you just got to stomp it to the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Adventure number two is get this thing to Dan's Auto Salvage. So this ought to be pretty interesting. Brad and Jimmy are driving the old truck. That thing hasn't been on the road in probably, I don't know, at least 10 years. So hopefully it doesn't just come apart. It's got good tires on it. I put tires on it years ago. So I'm thinking it should be safe there. But uh, yeah, it's running on airplane fuel and hopes and prayers. <laughs> I see Jimmy laugh. Well, it made it this far with no problems. I can't believe it, but it did. So yeah, we'll be pulling up to Dan's here in just a minute. We'll see what Jimmy thinks of the old truck. Ready to go to New York, baby. It's a nice old truck, huh? It is. It held temperature really well. Wow, that's cool. Held so oil pressure very the well. The gauges work? They all work, yeah. Wow, that's that's we kind of. We watch the voltage drop all the way here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it needs an alternator. That's awesome. We'll go deliver this thing.
You know what they say, Jimmy. Happiest day of a truck owner's life. <laughs> day he buys it and the day he sells it. <laughs> look at him smile. He's like, oh yeah, look at this old truck. Look at this dandy old truck. Is that railroad stuff? I don't know. It's kind of a big old anchor bolt. Huge. Or something. Well, one delivered, one loaded. I don't care where we go. Somewhere good. I mean, Jimmy and I, you know, we're, we're good with uh, Sonic Burger because we don't have a Sonic Burger. If you knew what was really in your food, you'd never eat. I don't really eat as it is. I eat cookies, see? Maybe Except that's your... Okay cookies. You know what's in those cookies? Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness, that's what's in that's them cookies. That's a good answer. We're just cruising in on Route 66. Yeah, when we looked at that 1952 map, we were we were educated on Route 66 for the desert here. Yeah, look at this old bridge. Old stack of paved rock. There's a movie and the guy actually was like, it was before Dan and them had that junkyard, I'm pretty sure. It was the one this side. Right. This guy had a Mustang and somebody knocked a hole in his radiator. And they broke in there in the movie to steal a radiator for this Mustang. Oh, and then right. he ends up getting into it. So he ends up having to race this guy. And they race through here and the guy crashes into the... Yeah, that's pretty cool. They actually cut them rocks, didn't they? Wow. That's impressive. Lunch. It was pretty good. <laughs> Still eating that. How about you, Brad? It was tasty. It's pretty cool camera It's pretty very cool. Right <laughs> they have to adopt that. Mary go round and round. So what they've done is they put a brake drum in the middle of the table. And uh, our magnetic camera just happens to stick to it. My mind's always doing things that I don't even know about. You always think of so many brilliant things down here, but then later I can't remember any of them. <laughs> They're brilliant, man. <laughs> Someone go make toast right now. Hey, we should record our conversation, man. Yeah, then we could play it back and write it down. I'll bet that's how the writers of National Lampoon do it. <laughs> What's the name of this place, Will? Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon Brewery. Grand Canyon Brewery. Kingman, Arizona on Route 66. Check it out. All righty, guys. You remember this beautiful motorhome? I can get past these sticker bushes. The beautiful motorhome. I've never seen anything so filthy in my life. I can't believe somebody could actually live in something like this. You got to see the inside of this thing. I haven't seen it in the daylight. I've seen it in the dark. Open and I can still smell it. There's things rotting in here. Um, there's all kinds of writing in here. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, I, I don't dare open the fridge. Okay, the freezer. Oh, there's stuff in there. Oh, it's rotten. That's what stinks. Oh so, here we go. So we got this rope, right? And we're going down the road and we're like, rum, rum, rum. <laughs> Dude, free motorhome. <laughs> hey, yeah, free. Okay, yeah, so. free. Jimmy. Yeah. I found a monkey. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you touched it. We need to put him up front and we'll name him something. He's my traveling partner. Check this thing out. 
Oh yeah, it's just how we left it. Still smells like that too. Oh yeah, keys are still in it. Fridge is still spilled. Ah, ah. My, my monkey, my monkey still, my monkey still hanging out. The monkey. It still smells the same, Jimmy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the throttle's still here. The throttle still works. It's still, still got the throttle. <laughs> That's awesome. He hasn't done anything with it. Oh. This is your first time seeing it, huh, Brad? In real life. Yeah, just, just yeah. stick your head in there and take a whip. I saw it has some pretty new fans on the back. Yeah, yeah, it's detailed out. You didn't recover the monkey? No. We'll, we'll leave the monkey there. He's that, that's a good place for the monkey. That's that's his home. He's just he's just chill. Well, so here's what we came to get. It's a pretty sweet old truck. This is a Ford High Boy, 1977. I think it's had a mouse living in it. It's got some mouse stuff going on here. I don't know, he might still be in here. I think he's had a family of mice in here. <laughs> family of mice? <laughs> Brad's thinking he had a family of mice. But anyway, yeah. Pretty cool truck. Pretty excited about this. Hey, I'm tired of hearing you complain about tire problems out here at the yard. You gotta get every last ounce out of them though. You are definitely getting it. That's awesome. You gotta air it up every three or four days, but it still keeps working. <laughs> that is this scary. Might, might be its last day. <laughs> Today could be its last day, huh? You might want to step back from that wheel. <laughs> oh, that's over there. He got him. He got him. I'm sorry. Got him. That's funny. <laughs> That is freaking I hilarious. I that way earlier. That is hilarious. That's fine. <laughs> Somebody just pinched that off and it sprays clear across the yard. Do that again. Do it again. Ooh. Give me more. Ooh. It's coming out in aerosol now. <laughs> it's aerosol now. Yeah, you Well, unless we need some pallet racking. Thanks, Will. Appreciate it. Pallet racking all over the damn place. Hey, you cool. never have enough pallet racking. That's not true. If I put more pallet racks in my shop, that means more skis can come in. <laughs> it's kind of the governor that way. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Merlin. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, fine pickup truck. I didn't Dude, say pile. Pile. That pile. So many people wanted that pile. Yeah. First, first truck uh, I ever really drove. I was six years old. Was uh, that exact truck in Forest Service green? So I'm gonna put it kind of back to that status and then lift it to the moon. I might. I might paint it Forest Service green and actually put. Bureau of Land Mismanagement on the side of it. I, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, there she is in all her glory. Ford Highboy.